All right, what's going on everybody? Uh, I just wanted to make a quick video on cut lines. And um, I've made a video before, but I wanted to make uh, a more detailed video, if you will. So uh, I'm using a, a software called the Final Master. I've been using this for um, years and uh, it's been great for everything I need. Um, I don't know how much it costs. I think it's free, the regular version, maybe. Uh, it's, not, it's not expensive at all. Uh, it's like a one-time fee, boom, you have it and you're done. So um, I use Vinyl Master. Most people, this is a, a software I'd say a lot of people use, but um, this is um, how, you, how you add cut lines to your, your images. So uh, you go in here, you hit import image, um, and then go find your image, whatever it is, PNG, it doesn't matter. It doesn't really matter what it is, but PNGs are always the best. Um, and then you drop your image on here and your images it, it doesn't matter where your image is on here this doesn't uh, the background the image has nothing to do with uh, or the um, the template has nothing to do with your image so um, so basically take your image and then you're going to come to this little apple up here and then create cut contour um, do you wish to auto trace the contours yes I do um, so I would say yes I don't really know what that question is, I just always say yes. Um, so right here you have some different options. Honestly, the the default options are perfect. You don't need anything different, but you can create smoothing, you know, if you want to, you know, make it more rounded instead of as, you know, sharp. Uh, that's what that does. Minimum size will trace like, um, it, it, it won't trace smaller things if that makes sense. So. Uh, if I trace here, it's not grabbing the stickers here, so you want to make this, uh, make this, uh, sorry, the other way, smaller, and it'll actually grab the stickers here, as you can see. And so you can retrace here, and now it's tracing the stickers there. And um, the stickers, that's kind of the, the template of this whole thing, so the stickers is actually not part of the, of the actual stickers, if that makes sense. So. The word stickers is not part of the actual sticker sheet, if that makes sense. So um, that's kind of what this one does. That's the only time you'll, you'll actually mess with that. And um, But yeah, see now it's gone. So the, uh, that's kind of what this one does. But I honestly just leave it at default and go from there. Um, so hit apply. Once you hit apply, um, it looks crazy right now um, because for different images, I use different things, but zero it out. So. For this one, you know, zero, it looks good, right? Um, it's gonna tight trace on uh, your image there. And this image, th this file has uh, some shadowing and whatnot. So like, let's say this shadowing is gonna be gray. Well, I want it to look like an actual like sticker. So you can add an outline. So the more you increase this outline, it's gonna add like a little white border. But you gotta be careful because if your images are too close together, as you can see here, um, they will start to to you know overlap each other or become one so it's just one big sheet so you can change this by uh, 0.5 or you can change it to you know um, at whatever decimal you want so if you go 0 0.6 you know you want to make this as big as you can to where they're not touching then you can do that and that's where you do it right here um, you can it doesn't matter which one you change if you want to do it in actual in inches or uh, percentages, it doesn't matter. They they match no matter what. So if you want to make it in a you know a 0.25 whatever that is, um, I guess that's like a two uh, two percent or whatever it is. Uh, you can change this to whatever you want. Um, keep holes. Keep holes is a is a uh, a very important one. This is like if you have like let's say you have like a little hole right here, right? Well, you can, um, it'll trace it and it'll actually cut this out to where you have to weed out the little hole in the butterfly. Um, I'll zoom in more for you guys. So, um, and you know, and then you'll hit keep holes or uncheck it and it'll take the holes out. So, um, that's what keep holes is, which this one, this image doesn't really have any. So, um, I'm sorry. Um, so that's what this does here. But as you can see, this image doesn't have any, but let, let's say it was tracing letters. Um, and the R has a, a loop in it, so it, I don't want to trace that that out. So I'll just hit keep holes, and it'll remove that for you. But um, that's pretty much it. So like right here, right now, you're at a point where you can actually um, cut. You can take this and export it. So you go to File, Export, 
export file and then you could put I'll put stickers right um, sticker and so and, and export as a PDF for um, for VersaWorks that's what VersaWorks uh, I think that's the only file you can use in VersaWorks but uh, make sure this is P, uh, set to a PDF and hit OK now uh, again this is right now at this point it is using the whole template and everything in uh, in the image so or on the, um, the the canvas that's that's the word I'm looking for the canvas um, so click on include images so it's going to pull up any image on this canvas and then I'm going to include cut contour line and um, this is already like a set code or whatever for the BN20 uh, to read so um, it's going to read the cut line and then I'm going to go to right here it says current page which is it's selecting the whole canvas like I said I want to uh, my, the current selection only which is um, what I you know the, the image I'm using and so that's why I said it doesn't matter where you put it just put um, current selection and it'll pull up your image and right there boom all these settings here are perfectly fine you don't need to mess with any of these settings hit OK and boom look it already has the pink that Roland uh, Roland however you say it um, already what it reads it already has the pink outline so you can literally come into VersaWorks here right so I'll add a job to Q I'll add A and we call it stickers which is right here and it will drop this image right here and it's ready actually I put it under the wrong uh, put it under the wrong one but that's okay um, so let's go back here boom go to A I think I put it in B um, either way here it is uh, so now it pulls it up here and um, I put it into the, into the GX which is my cut up my vinyl cutter but and as you can see it's gonna pull it up you double click it I'm gonna multi-monitor uh, setup so um, here it is right here it has a little marching ants for you that's saying hey I'm going to cut right here and as you can see it's already ready to cut it has the cut lines and everything for you only thing you have to do is you know cut the the box out so let's say you, you just want to cut your box out and not do a actual perforated cut um, you're ready to rock so you throw this in the printer it's going to it's going to cut this out so what you don't see here is the perforation cut settings okay this is where things get a little interesting so um, um, what I like to do is I like to come over here and I like to add a shape okay so I'll put a, a rectangle here and I'm gonna make it uh, white okay and then I'm going to come over here on this uh, left side I'm gonna put an outline okay I'm gonna add a little outline to it like that boom and I'm gonna make the color a different color you can make it whatever color you want I just make it red okay and that's all you need right there now I want to it's so squared that it, it won't look good right so I want to I want to make this rounded um, so what I do is I go up here and then I just increase this to where it's it's more rounded and uh, actually I, I messed a step I should have done this first so no big deal we'll do the same thing here okay it's right here an outline same thing sorry I messed that up that was my fault um, red okay boom we're right there okay now now we're good okay it doesn't have to be square or it doesn't have to be rounded either you can do a squared however you want to do it this, this is just what I do okay so now you take your image and like let's say I wanted this thing to be like a certain size you can change the sizing up here you know usually five by seven is 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 the norm um, it's kind of a, a default I guess measurement and um, we'll have to bring it to the front bring this to the front order bring to front to where this thing is on the top okay like so all right so this is all very very uh, quick down and dirty and you can you can uh, fix all of this you know later you can mess with the scaling everything you want okay so now we are going to do the same thing we did a second ago export file go to sticker uh, actually we'll do sticker um, with 
perf. Okay, we'll just do that, okay? With perf, whatever you save it to, or save it as, go with that. Include image, include cut contour, current selection. Okay, it's basically saving the whole thing. There it is right there in the PDF. Um, close all the tabs. Okay, this doesn't matter. Okay, and then what I use is, I use Infinity. Affinity, or whatever you call it. Um, and I bring it up here, right? Okay, so I'm gonna go File, and I'm gonna open my, um, the file I just created, which is the stickers, sticker with perf cut settings. Hit OK. And give me one second, someone is calling me, I'll be right back. Get back from my phone call. Um, so yeah, so now you got this, you got the file put into Affinity in um, Affinity Designer, uh, as you can see right there. Um, and the file's here, so now you're going to have a curve here, um, and what this curve is, is it's the, the background, right? And you'll have to import the swatches for Roland um, into Affinity, and there's a video on YouTube on how to do this. I can't remember the video, but I added this a while back, and as you can see, I have these up here, which are the Roland Perf Cut and then the Roland Contour Cut. Uh, perf cut means uh, you're cutting literally through it all the way and contour means you're just cutting the outline of something. So uh, the background, I want it to be a perf cut contour and I'll, I'll select it, um, the color. And then I also do the fill as well, um, just to, uh, to be double sure. And so boom, boom, both have that color, that background dark, dark red. And you don't have to mess with the other one, it's already, the, the contour one is already there, but I mean if you wanted to, as you can see, it's its own layer. So you click it on the right there, and then you can select the stroke color, and it's already that pink that it has to be. Um, as you can see, this the cut contour for the Roland is the same pink color. So when I select it, it, it doesn't even change because it's already that pink color. So, um, so that's it, that's all you have to do. And something I like to do is I like to make the image just a slightly smaller than the actual canvas, just so it uh, picks up on the lines and there's no, uh, there's no, uh, because if, if it, if it doesn't see the whole line, if, if it's up against the edge, it will not pick up the, the outline. It won't cut all the way through. So just make sure you have some white border uh, surrounding it and uh, the canvas, you know, how much of a gap you have, it does not matter. So right from right here, we're going to export it. And this seems like a long process, but it's actually very, very straightforward. And what I do is sticker with perf. Um, and then I, I usually put uh, cut lines um, for the, the file for me to remember. So sticker with perf cut lines, we'll pull it up in VersaWorks here and we'll add it to job A and then stick it with perf cut cut lines as you can see there it's going to drop it once it does we will bring it over here cut controls and look what you see here all right so i know a lot of y'all just got excited when you saw that and so you can mess with your settings here you can mess with all your settings here there's there's is there's no straightforward answer to what these settings are. The only one I can tell you is 1.5 usually works for me. And then your force, uh, I leave these two, these three, one, two, and three, I leave these the same. This is the only one you're really gonna mess with. And this is going to, uh, this is a lot of trial and error and a lot of, a, a lot of trial and error. That That's what that is there, so. And uh, that's pretty much all there is to it. And as you can see, you have the marching ants. Now uh, you have the marching ants s surrounding the the whole image. You know, before it was only here, and as you can see, it's now here. So that's all it takes. Um, let me turn you all around here. Um, so yeah, that's pretty much everything there is to to know about setting cut lines uh, if you have any questions feel free to reach out or if you know an easier way leave it in the comments below but um uh, this might be a little, a little bit longer of a video just because there's a lot of explanation but either way it's very very straightforward very very easy to do and um you yeah, know let me know what y'all think